Welcome to Kentuckiana Real Talk, hosted by Jeremy Ward. If you enjoy the podcast, please subscribe on the podcast provider of your choice and consider subscribing to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel for more expert real estate insights. Now, let's start the show. Good morning, it's Jeremy Ward with Ward Realty Services. Today, I'm here with Robin Gittelfinger, the Executive Director of the Fuller Center here in Cordon, Indiana. So nice to have a chance to sit down and talk to you, Robin. I've came in here for years, you know, bringing in goods to, to give and donate. And on the other end of it, I love coming in here and finding good cabinets, vanities, doors, windows, stuff like that, that, that people don't have a use for, and then we can actually put it in our rental homes. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about what the Fuller Center is? Sure. Uh, the Fuller Center for Housing is a 501c3 nonprofit. Um, we are here with a mission to um, give affordable ha- uh, housing to people in our community, people who might not be able to get a mortgage in a conventional way. Right. Uh, we provide a means for them to be able to to get brand new affordable housing. That's awesome. It is. So you do that basically by getting donations. That's right. From the community. That's right. People um, do spring cleaning, fall cleaning, right? And they, they donate their goods here to our store. And we put them out here and have them available for purchase. I love your goods. It's so reasonable to come down here and get like solid wood cabinets for $50, $60. Yeah. It's amazing. So you talked about putting people in houses. How does that work? Are the houses that that you guys actually get people to donate their time and their services to build, are they are they free? So the house is not free. Uh, We build our houses um, on land that we've either acquired or that was donated to us. Um, We've either bought or it was donated. Um, And then we have uh, volunteers. We have community members, um, church members, um, you know, a lot of different folks that will come together and help us build a house. Um, The cost of that house is then turned into a mortgage for a qualified family, and we mortgage it to them for 0% interest. Wow. Yeah. Their mortgage payments and the proceeds from the store get turned into building another house. That's amazing. It is. That's that's a good good way of taking care of people and keep kind of keeping it going. Yeah, that's right. So uh, how does someone apply through the Fuller Center to maybe have an option or is there an application or something that you fill out to, to get in line for these houses? Sure. We have a paper application. Um, they're here at the store right inside the door. There's a, um, a little section on the wall and it has applications in there. They can get filled out, um, mailed in. There's a, our PO box is listed on there or they can just drop them off to any employee here at the store. Um, I take those applications and keep them in a file. And then when it's time for Um, us to select a family, I will give that whole file to our family selection committee and they'll go through that entire file and um, um, start weeding through there and, and, you know, see who has the greatest need and who qualifies and, and who can be our, our next homeowner. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. What does it take to qualify? So there's a several things that go into that. Um, the family selection committee really takes care of more than that than I do. Um, but the basics, right? Um, you have to be able to show that you can pay your mortgage, whether uh, you know through W twos or qualified disability statements. Um, we just need to see proof that you're able that you're able to pay um, for your mortgage. Um, you need to be willing to live anywhere in the county. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we might get someone who's going to donate us some land and one end and you're used to living on the other you have to be willing to move i mean harrison county is not small right so you have to be willing to live anywhere in the community yeah so you have licensed contractors come in and do the skilled labor part of it and a lot of times these guys are donating their their time they are they're donating their time and their and their materials a lot of times yes and they'll come in and and help us out yeah um that's that's awesome it really really is back um so how long have you guys been in business here in Corden? so uh habitat we started as Habitat for Humanity in around the year 2000. Um, under that umbrella, we were able to build 17 homes. We've built 17 houses under Habitat. Um, early last year, our board of directors um, decided to research more affordable options for ourselves as a business. So we have aligned now with the Fuller Center for Housing. Since becoming the Fuller Center, we have built um, and completed one home. Wow. Yeah. Now, from what I understand, I mean, we're talking about real estate here, and I think we're all feeling the pressure of not enough inventory, not enough lots, Mm -hmm. not enough opportunities. Have you guys feeling the same in your business? Absolutely. Um, That's our biggest need at this point is um, to be able to find um, available lots to build on. 
We had a few lots available in Palmyra. We have completed those, and now we're now we're on the hunt. We need we need land. We need somewhere to build the next house. All right, guys, you hear that? We're looking for for lots in Harrison County for That's the right. Fuller Center. That's right. Um, so you talked about a little bit about it. You know, switching from the habitat to the Fuller Center, and that was a good move for for you guys in our area and our community. Uh, could you tell us where your store is located? Sure. Our store is located at 478 South Capitol Avenue. We're right across the street from the fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are familiar with our store here, but it was under the name of Habitat Restore. And now we are the Fuller Reuse Store. So it's still here. Same people, same staff, um, same great mission. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, I think that's one of the biggest things. And people need to understand that it's under a new name when they're looking it up, you know, are they open and uh, that sort of thing. Because I know I was looking up... Uh, under your previous name, and it said it was previous. It's permanently, permanently closed, closed, but you're not. You're still no, here. We're you're still, still here. doing good stuff. That's right. That's awesome. So, what are your um, store hours? And could you tell us a little bit about the items you sell? Sure. Uh, the store is open on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday from ten to three. We're okay. here on uh, Thursday and Friday from ten to six. We sell furniture, paint, lighting, uh, cabinets, vanities, large appliances. There's bathtubs, windows, doors. There's there's a lot of goods in here. And we can help take those goods that you want to donate off your hands. We have uh, a truck. We can come and get them. Um, all of that is arranged by our store manager. Her name's Karen. You can call the store anytime during business hours, and she can help get that set up. Awesome. It just really, it, you know, I come in here and I see the inventory change. You guys move quite a bit of product. Yeah. Um, a lot of times if I see something, it just advice for people that may be coming. If you see something, you better pay for it. Put it on hold because... There's a lot of people coming here looking at especially cabinets and vanities and those high ticket items that yeah. I feel like the stuff that you have here is, uh, you know, maybe older, maybe better made. Mm -hmm. For me as a, a, renter, a landlord with my rentals, I want something that's going to last, you mm -hmm. know, because generally don't take care of other people's stuff when they're renting it. Uh, you go to Lowe's and you buy all these cheap cardboard vanities, it's dissolved or beat up when I come for my inspection where the stuff I get down here, it's usually solid wood made really well. I can paint it, refinish it, and it lasts. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things about coming here. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a little bit of everything. I mean, if, especially if you're going to do a flip or yeah. anything like that. You know, we've got toilets. They're good toilets. They're I, over there. We I've have bathtubs, that. shower inserts, like all of that stuff is Doors, there. windows. Yeah. I mean, I've seen the garage accessories, tools. Like, yeah. I wander around here. I see towel, uh, blinds. Mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff that I say, dang, I wish I knew that was down here, yeah. you know, when I did this last house, because mm -hmm. that worked out just perfect for me. Yeah. Um, so you talked about uh, how many families uh, you've, you've housed uh, since the inception of, I guess it was uh, Habitat, now Fuller. It looks like there was, what, 17 homes total? So it's 18 total. 18 now? 18 total. That is amazing. Like, I'm in the real estate, and I understand what, we're in an affordability crisis right now. Yeah. And, there's a lot of people that's just been shoved out of the market having the American dream. And that's why I get so excited coming out here talking to you guys, because you guys are really trying to put people in that dream and they get to build some equity in that home. And in the future they can, you know, they can step up, but without these entry level homes, man, it just, it's, you're going in a rental house or apartment your whole life. And from, from working in development and real estate, I understand that these houses aren't cheap, you know, but yeah. you guys are getting them to the point where it's about as cheap as you can, you know, with the donated labor, the donated materials, like you're getting, it's about as affordable as possible. And they're brand new. Brand new homes. Yeah. A lot of people think that we build the houses with the goods that we get donated here at the store. And that's <laughs> not the fact that no, everything in those houses is brand new. Yeah. And the homeowner actually gets to you know, pick a lot of the things. They get to pick their cabinets. They get to pick their flooring, you know, yeah. their paint. Um, I mean, yeah, it, everything in it is brand new. Yeah, and I know some of the contractors that have, that have helped, and they're, they're top A1, great contractors, great builder, mm -hmm. uh, just really good people doing a great thing for our community. Um, so how can listeners help your mission? So there's a few different ways that um, you can help our mission. The first one is spread the word. Let okay. people know that we're here. We're still here, and um, we still want to help, you know, the community. Um, the second one is donate, um, either uh, monetarily or, you know, furniture or household goods or building materials, things that we can, that we can sell in our store. Um, another one is to pray. Pray for our mission. Pray for our homeowners, uh, past and current and future homeowners. Um, and, um, again, our current 
major need right now is land. We need a land. place to build for our next home. Yeah. Yeah. And that seems to be uh, most people's issue right now is, yeah. you know, is finding a, something that's affordable. Right. So it's got to be small. Yeah. Uh, and, and somewhere, hopefully it's pretty close, you know, in uh, for people. Because, you know, if sometimes you know, you're struggling to, to, to afford a house, you're probably also strugg struggling to afford uh, you know, reliable transportation. Sure. So, you know, if, if you're out there, guys, and you know of a piece of land here around Cord and Harrison County that would be, maybe it's not uh, something ideally what you want to build your house on, but it would be something be a great start for somebody. That's right. I would encourage you to reach out to Robin or Karen down here at the Fuller Center and, and let them know about it. Uh, I'm sure they would be willing to take a look at it and Absolutely. possibly try to put something together. Absolutely. Well, Robin, it's been great talking to you. Me too. Um, any of our viewers have any questions, feel free to reach out to Rob and myself or uh, Karen here at the Fuller Center. Uh, they've been great to work with. I've had uh, purchased many things down here, and I just enjoy it. It's, it's kind of like a little shopping trip for me, <laughs> and I love getting a deal, so that makes it more exciting. Right. So really appreciate you watching today. Again, if you have any questions, reach out to the Fuller Center. I'm sure they'll be glad to help. That's right. For more local real estate information, please like and subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel.